So um, what inspired you to do time lapse? Well, the thing is, it was a combination of three separate projects at uni, and I remember looking at the entire thing, and I just thought to myself, the original curl, I was just like, this is complete crap. And so I thought to myself, and I just sat down and started editing it, and I decided to put in the time lapse, and then something started coming together, and I was like, you know what, this actually doesn't look too bad. And to be fair, it looks better than the original curl, because like I said, without the music, because uh, the music was uh, put in with the second, the second version, this one. And uh, with the original version, all you hear is like high pitched squeaking type sound, and it was just really irritating. Like I said, it sucked. It, it was just rubbish, so. Yeah. Um, so, so it's um, just completely against smoking, is it? Because I, I noticed you were in the film when you were smoking. Um, I, li I like to think of it in my, in my eyes um, as a bit of irony, seeing as I'm a smoker and it's. I don't actually think it's anti-smoking at all, I think it, because I don't know if anybody here else smokes, but it's just like, in the way I look at it, it's like when you smoke, and like say you're on your own and you're smoking, everything just seems to change, things like become slower and they go faster, it's just, it's just like one minute you could be there, you've just lit it, two seconds later, it feels like two seconds later and you're already done. So it just seems like, and the things you, you're looking at, and life just passes you, so. What are you smoking? Royals. <laughs> Royals, best brand. Cool. Uh, so do you think you'll make any more films like this? With time lapse, since I just asked the previous question. Um, I, I really don't think, um, I've got a couple of ideas I want to, I want to work on, but I doubt they'll, they'll probably be more narrative based as, with some of my other projects that I've done. Um, but no, I don't think there will be any time-lapse kind of projects. Maybe one or two that I've got in mind, but probably not any time soon, no. Um, are there any more questions from the audience? Any questions? Please. Was it for, for uni? Um, the, f the first cut that I did, which, oh. um, which blew really bad. It was so bad, and I don't actually blame my lecturer for giving me the mic that they did, but the second version was, I was just bored one day, had a look at the original cut, and I was like, I wonder if I can make something from this. Sat down, put in the little intertitles, and then it just slowly came together, and, I was, and then they put the music in, it just seemed to have worked, and I was like, it's not too bad. So. I've got a question. How yes. on earth did you get away with filming in Anglia Buskin's library? Because I have tried taking photos in there before, and they got on my case big time doing that. I, I actually did, not the day I, I shot in there, I actually did inquire, I asked, can I, can I film in there? And they said, oh, you've got to get written permission, blah, 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 blah. blah. Yeah. And I was just like, this is for my project, you know what, fuck off. So I just did it anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Any more questions? Right. Um, thanks. And is there any way that we can see any more of your films? Uh, I've got some on YouTube, actually. I'm going to take up the guys from Internal Affairs advice and go on to Vimeo, because YouTube does really blow. So, um, no, you can, you can have a look at my stuff. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash big real. Big real time productions. So if you want to, I've got like three films on there, and just keep an eye out for any more. Uh, I've got one in the works at the moment. Just need to edit it, and then I'm going to start some uh, new projects in the new year. So if anybody's interested in collaborating, give me a give me a shout. So yeah. Thank you. Thanks.